Ever found yourself immersed in the warmth of family laughter, heartwarming moments, and a touch of life's ups and downs? Welcome to a timeless classic, a TV series that first graced our screens in 1987. Recall the first time you stumbled upon this gem, whether it was decades ago or just yesterday. The magic of Full House has a way of sticking with viewers. Hold on tight because we're about to reveal funny, shocking, and even heart-wrenching facts about this beloved show. Did you know there's more to the Tanner family's journey than meets the eye? Get ready for a roller coaster of emotions that'll keep you glued to the screen. As you sit back and reminisce about the episodes that have become part of your memory, ask yourself, are there any lesser known facts or anecdotes about this TV series that fascinate you? The world of Full House is filled with behind the scenes stories waiting to be discovered. And here's the kicker we want to hear from you. Share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the show in the comments below. Your connection to it is what makes it timeless. So if you're ready for a trip down memory lane, and a few surprises along the way, keep watching. Your favorite moments may just get a new twist, and you might uncover something you never knew about the show that feels like a second home. One viewer recalls the TV series Full House, which premiered in 1987 with fondness. They consider it one of the best shows ever made and appreciate its constant presence on channels like ABC Family and Nick at Night despite questioning the reasoning behind Joey's move in dynamic, they were captivated by every episode, including what they felt were less engaging final ones. The viewer values the show's lasting relevance, citing storylines like Jessia's unfinished high school journey and Stephanie's peer pressure ordeal as still resonant today. The mix of life lessons, humor, and familiarity, according to them, makes it the best show. Another reviewer, without personal anecdotes, praises the enduring charm of the show. They acknowledge its baby-faced appeal and appreciate the moral lessons in each episode during its peak in the early 90s. A specific nod is given to the first episode from 1987 recommended for fans to watch. The mention of a favorite episode involving a guest appearance by Steve Urkel from Family Matters adds a personal touch. Bob Saget's comedic talent is also highlighted, drawing a parallel to his role in America's Funniest Home Videos. The review concludes with a grown-up perspective that, despite outgrowing the show, still finds comfort in catching an occasional rerun on TV. In contrast, another viewer, who loved the show as a child, reflects on how it no longer appeals to them as an adult. While once enthralled by the characters and storylines, a rewatch around two years ago left them considering the show as lame and corny. They acknowledge the shift in television over the last few years, expressing the belief that shows once loved during childhood may now seem outdated and uninteresting to the more mature viewer. Despite the change in perspective, the viewer recognizes the show's significance in their younger years, acknowledging that many others may share similar sentiments. In summary, Full House evokes varying sentiments among viewers, from nostalgic appreciation to a more critical reevaluation with age. Each review encapsulates a unique perspective on the show's impact, showcasing its ability to connect with audiences across different stages of life. In the initial seasons, the creators of the series opted for a subtle approach regarding Michelle's character, portrayed by twins Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen. The credits discreetly acknowledged them as Mary-Kate Ashley Olsen. However, as time progressed, the decision to reveal their individual names became evident and in the concluding season, they were officially credited as Mary Kate Olsen and Ashley Olsen. During the filming of a two-part episode set in Disney World, Jodie Sweetin, who played Stephanie Tanner, faced an unexpected challenge. The enthusiastic fans and relentless photographers posed a predicament for her. The situation reached a point where some even followed her into the bathroom, causing discomfort during the shoot. The show had a subtle penchant for Elvis Presley's music, particularly favoring Heartbreak Hotel. Except for three instances, this was the sole Elvis song featured. Notably, at Jesse and Becky's wedding, Jailhouse Rock took center stage, Jesse crooned Rock, a hula baby in Hawaii during the third season premiere, and in the 19th episode of the first season, Are You Lonesome Tonight made its appearance. These behind-the-scenes insights shed light on the strategic decisions around character revelations and the unforeseen challenges faced by cast members. Additionally, the show's selective use of Elvis tunes adds a musical dimension to its narrative, subtly enhancing key moments in the series. DJ's junior high school in the series pays an unusual tribute to the show's producer, as it's named after them. 
This subtle nod adds a layer of connection between the on-screen world and the behind-the-scenes contributors. It's a unique touch that keen-eyed fans might appreciate, highlighting the collaborative efforts that shaped the series. If you ever tried dialing DJ's private phone number from the show, you'd be greeted by 555 8 then 722 While it's not an active line in reality, the use of this fictional number is a common practice in the entertainment industry. It ensures real phone numbers aren't unintentionally exposed, maintaining a boundary between fiction and reality. When watching the young Ashley Olsen portray Michelle, a distinctive feature stands out. As a child, she had a freckle above her lip, making it possible for keen observers to identify when she took on the role. It's a subtle but interesting detail that showcases the uniqueness of each actor's identity, even within the context of portraying a character. These behind-the-scenes tidbits offer a glimpse into the thoughtful details woven into the fabric of the show. Whether it's a nod to the production team, a fictional phone number, or a child actor's distinctive feature, Full House was crafted with meticulous attention to detail, creating a viewing experience that resonated with audiences for years. As the Full House story unfolds, important moments stand out, giving us a closer look at the series. In The Wedding Part 2, we focus on Rebecca's parents making their second appearance and saying goodbye to Jesse as parents. The spotlight shifts to family dynamics, showing us the various relationships in the story. Some older viewers might find it interesting that Danny seems young to be DJ's father. This is because in the 1970s, it was more common for young men to become fathers in their late teens or early 20s. The series reflects the norms of its time, showing a range of family experiences that people can relate to. In a seasonal change, Steve's last name goes from Peters to Hale. This happens between the fifth and sixth seasons, but it's a small detail that you might not notice. The creators pay attention to these character details to make the story more realistic. As we uncover the layers of the series, we learn more about the characters and their relationships. The family ties and generational dynamics reflect real-world changes, making it easier for viewers to connect with the characters. These small changes in character details make the storytelling more interesting and contribute to the overall appeal of the series. The journey of Full House continues, marked by these revealing details. Each layer adds to the impact of the story, showing the complexities of family bonds, societal norms, and character traits. It all comes together to create a story that stands the test of time. In a surprising turn of events behind the scenes of this classic series, John Stamos made a meaningful choice for his character's name. Originally planned as Adam, he decided to change it to Jesse as a tribute to Elvis, who had a twin brother named Jesse, born but lost soon after. This personal touch adds depth to the character, subtly linking the on-screen persona with a real-life inspiration. The show's journey started with a different vibe, initially named House of Comics, and focused on three single stand-up comedians. However, influenced by the success of family-oriented sitcoms like The Cosby Show and Family Ties, the creators shifted gears to infuse Full House with family morals and values. This change in theme, along with the alteration of the show's name, marked a crucial moment that shaped the lasting essence of the series. Bob Saget and Dave Callier's off-screen friendship mirrors the on-screen dynamics. Having built their friendship in the L, a comedy circuit, Callier found himself crashing at Saget's place during his early comedian days. This parallel to Joey Gladstone's living arrangement in the Tanner household adds a touch of reality to the show's portrayal of comedic friendships. These glimpses into the actors' personal lives and the show's evolving beginning highlight the important decisions that transformed Full House into a beloved household name.